It was a perfect storm, really. From the very beginning, I think most people did see him as a joke. This is a TV star who knew how to work the medium of television. He was the first smash mouth shock jock candidate. Quiet. Is James Fletcher, producer and director of political documentary The Accidental President. The film documents how Donald Trump came to be president when everyone was expecting it to be Hillary Clinton. Piers Morgan has praised the documentary as fascinating, riveting, and shocking. While his pr proud wife, Brooke, posted on Instagram, raise your hand if you're married to a film director, so proud of you. And I think that she speaks for the rest of us. Well done. Joining me now is James, welcome. Well, thank you for having me. I've watch the documentary and I think it's absolutely fascinating but before we go into that I wanted to talk about the background how was it filming we didn't have that whole thing of you know social distancing and and people who have been filming telling me incredible stories about how they set up cameras behind sheets of plastic and so on so we didn't have to do that but we did do our post-production during the pandemic and yeah. to this day, I've still not met half the people that worked on the film. Oh. Our colorist was down in Texas. He's an English guy <laughs> from New York who was in um, lockdown in Texas. And our editor was stuck uh, with his family in New Jersey. And so we did everything over the internet, um, which of course made it take much longer. New York, you live in New York. That, that's correct. But you're actually from the UK. That's right. What happened? What made you do this transition? I met my now wife. And so of course, things had to be rearranged Interesting. And shortly after we met it was the election of 2016 and I thought well this story is crazy a game show host has basically become the most powerful person on the planet and if that doesn't deserve some kind of investigation <laughs> I don't know what does I got a camera and I went around asking all kinds of people if they give me an interview and the great thing about Donald Trump is no one ever says, oh, you know, I don't know. I haven't really got an opinion on him. <laughs> uh, so it's uh, it's a very amenable subject to ask people to talk about. And, and obviously people go on at great length and they feel very strongly one way or the other. Catches you straight away. What made you settle on the accidental president? The, 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 the accidental president is um, the title arises because there's it's literally of our interviewees, half and half argue that he set out to become president. And then the other half would say, no, he was just fooling around. He was, it was a publicity stunt that got out of hand. And that's right. my own view. The film itself was so gripping. It had my attention all the way through. What was it that fascinated you about putting together this particular documentary and why politics? Uh, well, I have a background in politics. Once upon okay. a time, I made um, political ads for campaigns. Uh, at home, I made, I'll admit it, with Boris Johnson. Uh, I worked on the Iraq elections. I worked on European elections. Right. So I've seen how election campaigns are put together. And, okay. you know, they, they, I describe them as a marketing event, frankly. A, an election is a marketing competition. So if you think of it through that lens, you've got Donald Trump against Hillary Clinton, who this out, who's this outgoing, brash, mildly ludicrous individual, against Hillary Clinton, who is this very bookish, pretty reserved, very considered, thought out individual who seemed by contrast very flat. And if you look at elections anywhere in the world, they go and they are won by the person that can tell and sell their story most convincingly. Exactly. That is what Donald Trump did. Now, you you may well then say, but of course he didn't do half the things he said he was going to do. <laughs> and you'd be right, but that's a, that's a sad, that... you, What do you want your, your, the people who watch it to get from it? Um, it's a great, that is, that is, that's one of my favorite questions. Um, yeah. Uh, I would like people to watch the film and challenge their own views and maybe take something away from it that they hadn't realized, even though most people who listen to the news frequently won't probably learn any, there's no smoking gun in this, there's nothing like that. But um, people do say that, first of all, we're balanced, so we're not just having a go exactly. at Trump. There's lots of that around. Yeah. Um, you know, Clinton didn't do so well, and we look at that problem, but she was also a very worthwhile candidate. Yeah. Um, but I would love people to be able to discuss that election, and I would like to think people will see the film and have something to say as a, re yeah. as a result. Yeah, I, I think it was very, very informative. I learned so many things that I, I didn't even know about as well. So well, well done for that, because it, it serves its purpose. Right. And what can we expect to see from you in the future? 
I'm playing with a few things, but actually, it's where, it's where you started, you know, we are still in the film business is still in a pandemic. So I yeah. didn't really go to someone's house and interview them at the moment. That's that's the reality of life. Yeah. You know, um, so we're kind of on hold for a few more months, I think, to see to see what happens next. Because actually. I think for now, I'll be talking about the accidental president. But, um, you know, yeah, you, you, you are not the first person to ask me what's up my sleeve. I haven't got there yet, but I'm working on it. Uh, do you think that you're going to stay in documentary, um, political documentary making, or do you think that you're going to move on to fiction or other things? Look, I'd love to try all kinds of things. Um, you know, I have got other documentaries in mind, but, uh, purely because, you know, having worked with all the crew that worked on this, they're a phone call away and it would be, I, I've learned so many lessons in making this. Um, things I, I would do differently or n absolutely not do again. Uh, so and, many lessons. Yeah, and there's no lesson better than actually trying to make a film. Uh, I'll, I'll wait and see. I haven't decided yet. Okay, we'll be very interested to keep up with you to see what you go into next. Thank and you. yeah, thank you so much for your time today. I've really enjoyed um, interviewing you. Likewise. Real yeah. Thank you for watching The Fan Carpet. Please follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram for more content next time. How does he not win? <laughs> See how much fun I had?